The organic reaction we chose to research was the Upjohn dihydroxylation. This reaction was created in 1976. This reaction was created for the Upjohn Company. The Upjohn Company was a pharmaceutical manufacturing firm founded in 1886 in Kalamazoo, Michigan by Dr. William E. Upjohn, an 1875 graduate of the Michigan University Med School. To begin the Upjohn dihydroxylation reaction, we start with the osmium reagent, which is what I'm drawing here. As you can see, it is a ring structure containing two R groups and an oxygen, which are going to react with water. The two R groups and one of the oxygens become a leaving group and bind with water to form the compound I am drawing here. Once the R groups and oxygen have left, an osmium double bonded to three oxygens is left over. The osmium then attacks the negative charge of the oxygen bonded to the nitrogen in the compound methyl pyrrolidone. This leaves the methyl pyrrolidone without an oxygen as a byproduct. The main product formed is an osmium double bonded to four oxygens, or osmium tetroxide. Because this is a cyclic reaction, in order to return the original osmium reagent, a cis alkene with two R groups is added to the osmium tetroxide. Once this has happened, the reaction can start over again.
Although the Upjohn dihydroxylation reaction yields the products that it is supposed to, there are some limitations. The reaction can take a long time to form its desired products. Another issue with the reaction is that it may generate a low product yield. In order to correct, correct these problems, the Sharpless asymmetric dihydroxylation reaction was used to create the same product by putting it under conditions that are similar to the Upjohn dihydroxylation reaction. This reaction has a higher yield and also a faster reaction rate while still producing the same products. This reaction is shown here.